Today, let us see how we can construct a bar graph using an Excel sheet or a Google sheet. So for this, we need a Microsoft Excel sheet and data and a Google sheet. You can take a Google sheet and do it. Now I have opened a Microsoft Excel sheet. So to draw the bar graph, I need some data for which I have to construct a bar graph. So I have taken a data here like number of trees which are available in different parks or number of flowering plants which are available in the different parks. So this is the data which I have taken for which I have to draw a bar graph. So for that first you have to select the data like name of the park and number of trees the whole data for which you have to construct a bar graph and go to insert tab which is in the menu bar insert tab and under chart charts you have different types of charts which we can draw so here you go to column or bar chart click on it you have four different options here so but what i want is a bar graph which is like this the first one click on the first option so now i've got my bar graph so my bar graph is ready and now i will make it a little more bigger you can see on my horizontal axis the name of the parks park 1 park 2 park 3 park 4 and 5 is there and on the vertical axis you can see the number of trees which are present the numbers are there and it has taken the scale automatically and the name of the chart is also mentioned here now if i want to change the color of uh, the bars we can do it from the chart style so and in the chart design option under that chart style you have different styles for it so you can select it any one style i'm selecting this uh, style and i want what is the title for the horizontal axis and the title for the vertical axis for that under chart design in the chart layout you have an add chart element so click on that and you have titles like access title like horizontal and vertical so click on the horizontal you get a horizontal one and once again click on vertical you get a vertical one so what i want in the access title here whatever i wanted i can just select it and click on equal to and click on that is name of the park so i get my name of the park same way in the vertical title and click equal to and click on number of trees so this number of trees name will be reflecting on the vertical axis in this manner we can draw the bar graph and if you want to change any color of the bar graph for example i want this in a red color you can change it like format go to format and shape shape fill the shape you can change it to orange and select you can select it and go shape, fill the shape and you can have different different color for different bars that is also possible for to make a difference about it and you can analyze the data seeing the height of the bar you can see that there is a gap between both the bars and it is in all the cases it is same and the width of the bar is same in all the situations and i want to draw a bar graph for number of flowering plants which are in the park for that same process select name of the park and as well as press control key and select the number of flowering plants then go to insert tab in the menu bar and go to column graph click on the first option now i have got number of flowering parts bar graph now i am making it bigger so i want to make the change in design little bit change in the design and same way i am adding the axis here axis title horizontal and the vertical and i'm changing the name as number of flowering plants and here i'm changing it to name of the park so my graph is ready here so you can change the color as even or else you can keep it like this so this will have like park 1 have 40 park 2 have 10 park 4 has 30 and park 5 has 50 flowering plants but if i want to have both the data in one bar graph is it possible yes so if i want to have both the data in one bar graph so we call it as a double bar graph for that the same process first you select the whole data which is having the um, data of number of trees and number of flowering plants go to insert tab then click on the um, column or bar chart in that first option now you can see i have got a bar graph 
which is having both the data of number of trees and number of flowering plants. So now I've got a bar graph which is a double bar graph which is showing the details of both number of trees and number of flowering plants. So the blue bar shows the number of trees and the orange bar shows the number of flowering plants. So from this data we can analyze a lot of things like which parks have both flowering plants and trees the same numbers it's like park 3 and which park is having the highest number of flowering plants is park 5 and which plants uh, which park is having the highest number of uh, trees that is nothing but the park 4 so in this manner we can analyze the data where uh, two things are there so we can draw a double bar graph and we can analyze it see one of the advantage of the bar graph is like once you have taken a data and you want to change the data and you want the bar graph immediately so in the excel i go change the numbers for example in part 2 the number of flowering plants is 30 i change the numbers so instantly you can see in the part 2 there is a change in the values same way the graph will change so i am changing here 50 so you can see there is a change in the uh, graph automatically based on changing the values in the data table you can observe how the graph changes and you can analyze it accordingly thank you